So I watched it last night. I was excited. We mm-hmm. ran home from uh, dinner, and I wanted to see it because I was hoping for fireworks. I was hoping to hear him say something stupid because nothing entertains me like watching our president say stupid things. It's just funny to me. I don't, I don't know why it is. I, I just didn't happen, it. did it? It didn't. It didn't. He was very good. Even the uh, the uh, liberal talking heads all said he did a great job. Mm-hmm. He came off as very president. Let's. Uh, I'll just play a bunch of clips, and we'll, we'll, we'll stop where we need to stop. We are blessed to be joined tonight by Corinne Owens, the widow of U.S. Navy Special Operator, Senior Chief. Oh, this was a great moment. This was probably the biggest moment in, in, yeah. in this speech. He honors this guy, this, this Navy SEAL Ryan right. Owens, who, who... That was who, the who, Yemen who uh, mission, right? Uh, yes, yeah. Um, and the, the round of applause that his wife got and, and that, that he got was, was awesome. William Ryan Owens. Ryan died as he lived, a warrior and a hero, battling against terrorism and securing our nation. I just spoke to our great General Mattis, who reconfirmed that, and I quote, Ryan was a part of a highly successful raid that generated large amounts of vital intelligence that will lead to many more victories in the future against our enemy. Ryan's legacy is etched into eternity. Thank you. Thank you. That was awesome. Yeah, and the round of applause went on forever. They, yeah. they actually edited it down here because it went on forever. And uh, Trump even made a comment at the end that it must have set a record for a round of applause. There's really not anything uh, super exciting in these uh, audio clips here because uh, he didn't do anything stupid. I, I heard he stuck to the, uh, to the speech, mm-hmm. to the teleprompter. Reached across the aisle, as they say. Right, right. You know, I find fascinating when, <laughs> when you watch these speeches, all you're watching is to see who stands up to applaud what. Mm-hmm. That's their thing, right? So yeah. if they agree with something that the president says, they all stand up and applaud. Correct. Say so they all agree. They all stand up and applaud. If uh, you disagree with something he just said, you don't stand. So I just kept looking around to see. Nancy Pelosi stood up for nothing. <laughs> and if you <laughs> really, absolutely, really absolutely don't agree not. with what the president's saying, you don't even applaud. So. <laughs> yeah. 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 But I got to tell you, <clears throat> excuse me, it, it, he was presidential for him, meaning... I, I still think he he's struggling with that. Even in his this, I, I they're all saying this was his best moment so far as president. Well, he, he he sounded and acted presidential, which is a good thing. But that's that's not him. That's the thing. It's, he he sounded awkward at times. This and this the most awkward thing is he can't stop talking. So he has to have like you're supposed to in these moments. You pause for the applause. And he's so awkward. He's so awkward. He did a good job of it last uh-huh. night for him. I mean, but you could see he was struggling internally with "I want to keep talking." I used yeah. to do that in stand up. You're supposed to like you know take a break when people are laughing, right? Right. Maybe laugh with them, and then it'll even punch it up a little just bit more. Going, though dude. I just yeah, hey, you like that one? Here's another joke. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can see inside it's driving him nuts that he has to shut up for a second so they can applaud. Well, you know what? Anybody who's, who hasn't been in politics and made that many speeches, that's going to take him a while. I, I think, yeah, to, to I, I, yeah, that. no, yeah. Here, not, let me let me just tell you. Not, my, here's my here's my thoughts. On it. <laughs> I, I, I don't wish him. Uh, uh, harm or anything no, like no. that i i hope he does good things for the country of course i, just, I don't like his personality yes, and, yeah and and that's just it's you very don't. simple you know who's a, a personality i didn't like hmm. richard nixon nixon okay yeah. and, and trump i just don't like the kind of person he is it's, maybe he's successful hopefully he'll make a good president um i don't wish him any ill will but i just i don't like the man i just don't like what he stands I understand. for that's all <laughs> you're entitled to your opinion exactly you don't have to qualify this every time i think people that listen to the show every single day have an idea of where you and i stand yeah so you don't have to make my a wife so a, a little bit different <laughs> i find his body language psychotic i've never seen a, a person with with body language and speech patterns like he has it doesn't even it's i don't even feel like it's regional or it makes sense from like well, he's been in the business world for so many. Don't you see that? His body language and his speech patterns, the way he talks, the words that he use freak, uses so frequently. Yeah, yeah. I, I just find it psychotic. It drives. Where me does up. it come it just drives from? Drives me up the wall. There's nothing. There's nothing necessarily wrong with it. I just don't know where it comes from. You know what I mean? And the business stuff, like, yeah, they tell you in business you're supposed to look people in the eye, like the handshakes. His handshake game is out of control. 
It's like he takes everything to the extreme. You know, they tell businessmen they're not supposed to break off a handshake. You're not supposed to be the first one to pull away. So will you just stand there and handshake <laughs> for 10 minutes? Forever. 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 But Hill, he, he, he takes it to the next level. He pulls you in. He's yanking on your arm. He looks like he's sawing a log. <laughs> His mannerisms are psychotic. <laughs> but I could watch him for hours. I never get bored. I can't. It watch does. Him. The topic is irrelevant to me. I could watch him for out from an entertainment standpoint. Even if he says something I disagree with, I could watch him can't for do hours. It. Can't do it. It's like nails on a chalkboard well, because for it, me. Because you, you disagree with. Almost everything he well, said. Even last night when, when, he, when he, he didn't divide the room, when he, he called for more unity and, and the Democrats and the Republicans to get together, I still can't. Because yeah. you smell cow dung, that's why. They can't do it. Yeah, that's why. You smell BS in yeah. the air. Yeah, I guess. Which is okay if, that's, if your BS meter is going off. Uh, I, I can understand it. I smell BS all the time. Most people, when they talk, I'm just like, this person yes. is so full of yes. S. That's, that's that like <laughs> most people. <laughs> no, I literally, no, when you. most people talk, yeah. I hear nothing but BS. You know, <laughs> because, of the pri- <laughs> because of the private conversations we have, yes. how many people I've written off within days mm-hmm. because I think this person is full of it. Mm-hmm. I think you're wrong, and I think you need to give him a chance. See, now I'm a liar, but I'm an admitted liar. <laughs> so we have a whole different, it, it, it's, right. it's levels exactly. of, of confusion on how to take me. You, you will admit you're an a-hole, and then, then you know, <laughs> and then, then that, that's admirable. <laughs> Don't you think that's admirable? Let's do a handshake. Let's do a Trump handshake, a business. No, because then we're going to A fall. never break off handshake. Okay. This is what he does. Uh, Nobody can see Nobody us. can see it. We have to film so it. Let me just show you anyway. Right. We'll film it later. Okay. <laughs> that's what he does. Yeah, that's so uncomfortable. It's goofy, isn't it? I'm tripping over stuff over here. <laughs> All right, 727 Ethan and Lou here. I-